Hi everyone, I'm Farzana Suri, your Victory Coach. Today I'd like to talk about well-being. We hear about well-being in the, uh, you know, with respect to the mental health, with respect to physical health, with respect to uh, spiritual health, but there are very many other things that, uh, you know, we also need to perhaps pay a little more attention to. So, uh, to my mind, uh, there are about seven ways in which you can take care of your well-being. Uh, the first is, uh, of course, uh, you know, emotional well-being. How are you, uh, you know, processing your emotions? How are you uh, acknowledging, analyzing, and accepting, and perhaps validating emotions that you feel in particular situations? Uh, you know, then the second one is physical health. How are you taking care of yourself physically? Are you eating well? Are you exercising? Are you giving your body rest as well? So uh, you could perhaps ponder on these things. Uh, the third is, um, you know, in intellectual health. So, uh, you know, there are times when we feel that we know everything and uh, we perhaps, uh, you know, don't need to learn anymore. Uh, this is a time, uh, this is also a very important aspect of our well-being, which is intellectual health. So what are you doing to tease your brain? What are you doing to, um, you know, to learn more and keep the, uh, you know, keep the mind um, in active mode? So your uh, intellectual well-being is also important. Then we have the spiritual well-being, which is, you know, how are you nurturing your soul? How, what are you doing to elevate yourself? Uh, that is something that uh, you may also want to think about. Um, then our, um, you know, relationships. So what are you doing for your, um, you know, social health? Uh, you know, are you meeting up with friends? Uh, I know it is a pandemic and we are not really, we are under lockdown. However, there are different ways in which you can connect with your friends. You know, get on a call, get on a phone call, get on a Zoom call, um, you know, gather a couple of friends and just share. Share and, uh, you know, open your heart out. Uh, we all need that. We all need support now and then. Uh, another way to also uh, ensure that you are uh, taking care of your well-being is, uh, you know, from an occupational perspective, is there work-life balance? I know a lot of people say there is nothing called work-life balance, but today, in the times we are in with work from home, it is very vital to ensure that there are boundaries. And uh, in order for you to do well at work, in order for you to be doing well at home, it is important to keep that balance going. And um, uh, last but not the least, I would say, uh, you know, what are you doing for, uh, you know, your financial uh, well-being as well? Because eventually, even that is a very important aspect of our life. How are you taking care of your money? Um, uh, do you know how much money you have? Do you know uh, how are you going to sustain yourself for, you know, the next few years? What are you doing to ensure that your money really makes money? So well-being, you know, kind of uh, spans all these areas and um, uh, this is just a reminder from me to you to look at every aspect of your well-being, not just your emotional and uh, physical well-being. That's all for me from now. I'm Farzana Suri, your victory coach. Be cool, be classy, be victorious. Bye for now.